This morning, I took my daughter to enroll for her senior year in high school. That's right, we stepped over the threshold into that last year. It's kind of crazy to think about. This will be the last year that we attend the high school football games where she's the manager of the football team. This will be the last time that we go shopping for homecoming dresses. It'll be the last year that we deal with you know, prom and the drama that that sometimes entails. It'll be the last year that she lives at home full time where she's here every night, on the weekends, all the time. It's kind of a big deal in my world and maybe if you've had a senior, you know what this is like. Or maybe if you have a senior, you're anticipating all kinds of stuff going forward. It's kind of a mixture of, I don't know, anticipation, joy, excitement, and dread, all rolled into one. It was exciting going through the school today with her and kind of looking at her schedule and planning ahead. And she's decided to dual enroll in a couple college courses, which is really exciting. Um, but what's weird is that we came home, she pulled out her schedule, she went online, and she filled out the college applications for the two top colleges she wants to go to. She filled them out, she submitted them, they were accepted, she's ready to go. I mean, she's ready to go. Yeah, I'm kind of speechless about it. <laughs> I watched my baby girl take that first step that is gonna take her away. And I'm really, really excited for her, but boy, am I gonna miss her. I'm sharing this with you today because I wonder if maybe you have a senior too and you are experiencing this jumbled mix of pride and joy and dread all at the same time like I am. Um, I have a friend who has invited me to do this book study called The Goodbye Year. And I'm gonna show you the book because I had never heard about it before and um, maybe you might be interested in picking it up. I, I read through the first session and I cried because it spoke exactly what I was feeling. And so part of this is I wanna encourage you to pick it up and grab a bunch of friends around you who are senior moms or maybe have been through it before or a mixture or whatever um, and go through this year together. Because here's what I, I wanna offer. Because here's what I'd like to do too. I wanna to do this year well. I want to learn to let go well with grace and joy and anticipation. I want to learn to see her as um, the young woman that she is and the adult that she is becoming. I want to be that mom who um, gives her the realization that she already has the wings that she needs to fly to do whatever it is she wants to do in this world. And I'm really, really excited for her. Um, but I also don't want to be the mom that hovers or that smothers. And I know I can do that because I just want her to be around. So I'm sharing this with you today to invite you to, to join with me. Um, in addition to getting maybe this book and um, doing it with some friends, let's keep talking about this. Let's talk about what it's like to be the mom of a senior. Let's offer encouragement. If you've been through this, please offer your wisdom. Um, please offer your perspective. And if this is your first time too, let's make this a safe place to share our worries, our fears, our concerns, whatever it is that um, might pop up. Let's share the stories of our kids. Let's share um, the pictures. Uh, this is my little baby. This is what she, I mean, when she was little, little girl, this was it. Uh, and now she'll be 18 in November. It goes by fast. If you're not quite here yet and don't quite have a senior, it really is true. It goes by really fast. And it's an exciting ride, but here we are. This year, um, I also plan to um, pray specifically for certain things for my daughter. Things like, would she be, would she know Jesus deeper? Would she um, come to listen to God more than maybe her own desires? Um, would she trust that He has great plans for her? I'll be praying the verse uh, Jeremiah twenty nine eleven over her, and I encourage you to choose a scripture to pray over your child too that will help alleviate your anxiety and hopefully allow you to let go with grace. I thank you so much for listening, and if you have a, if you have a senior, I'll be praying for you too. Thank you.